welcome to this new Animal Wise video. Today we're going to speak about a breed with an unmistakable appearance, the English Bulldog. The English Bulldog descended from dogs used for bull baiting in Britain. The dog that grabbed the bull by their nose and pinned them to the ground would be the victor. It was common for a bull to maim or kill several dogs at these events. These customs led to dog fighting with bulls and other large animals, but fortunately this cruel practice was banned in the 19th century. When bull baiting was banned, the bulldog lost popularity among the English and started gradually disappearing. Some English immigrants living in the United States maintained the breed with a few changes, giving rise to the American bulldog. However, in England, the original bulldog was crossed with smaller and less aggressive dogs, changing their shape to what we know today. Their current size and morphology doesn't allow them to perform many tasks, but their affectionate nature has made them one of the most beloved pets in the world. The Bulldog is a medium-sized dog, but with a heavy build. Their face is undoubtedly their most distinctive feature. It is short, with a wide and blunt snout, which slopes upwards with an obvious protrusion of the jaw. In theory, this morphology helps the dog bite and hold their prey, but this is unlikely to work. In fact, it is not a common morphology in natural predators. Their hair, which is short, flat and smooth, can be red, white, fawn, brindle and piebald. Although the English Bulldog is a morphologically symmetrical dog, their structure can be considered deformed by many and often impairs their ease of movement to some extent. The breed standard does not indicate a predetermined size, but the Bulldog usually has a height at withers of almost 40 centimetres. Their weight, which is itself indicated in the standard, is about 25 kilograms for males and 23 kilograms for females. The Bulldog is a determined, strong, alert, brave and loyal dog. According to the breed standard, they should also be active animals, but Bulldog adults are usually rather quiet. This dog demands a lot of attention and is not an animal to be left alone for many hours a day. They form strong ties with their human family and tend to feel isolated when left too long alone. Their fierce appearance usually gives a false impression. These dogs usually have a warm, calm and quiet demeanour, but they are also tenacious when they want something. They are usually very patient with children and generally make excellent pets. Of course, not all dogs of this breed will have these features. Their character will vary and depend heavily on the conditions in which the dog lives. Heat is a major health hazard for the English Bulldog. Their extremely flattened snout has a negative effect on their airways, so it makes breathing difficult. It is good if they have moderate exercise to keep them fit, but intense exercise can be a risk factor. However, they do need daily walks for exercise and to socialise with people and other dogs. Please take them on short and exhilarating walks several times a day. It is normal for their speed to salivate excessively, so it is advisable to clean their face frequently, taking advantage to remove any dirt and debris. Bulldogs shed hair regularly, so you'll have to brush them two or three times a week using a rubber brush. However, their coat is easy to maintain. Their wrinkles and folds should also be cleaned with a soft damp cloth or a soft moistened sponge. Then you need to dry them with a dry soft cloth to avoid the appearance of fungi and other skin issues. English Bulldogs learn very easily when you use positive reinforcement, like using a clicker for example. During puppyhood, it will be essential to teach them some basic habits, such as urinating on the newspaper, later urinating in the street, teaching them to bite properly and how to deal with time alone. It is also essential to spend time on socialisation, presenting the puppy to people, dogs, other animals and environments of all kinds. This will prevent fear and aggression as adults. Later, when they are young, we can get them started with basic training commands, which are essential for their safety and yours. English Bulldogs are not often skilled in advanced canine education, but it is highly recommended to keep practicing exercises as adults to stimulate their mind. Some of the most common behavioural problems are resource protection and aggression, usually due to poor socialisation. By intense and disorganised artificial selection, this breed often presents many hereditary diseases and other health problems. Among the diseases that are common in the English Bulldog are hip and elbow dysplasia, keratoconjunctivitis, respiratory problems, entropion, ectropion, cataracts, elongated palate, heat stroke, inverted tail, skin problems and bloating. 
Of course, there may also be other dog diseases, depending on the care given to each animal and their particular genotype. A relatively common problem derived from the English Bulldog's flat face is breathlessness. The exaggerated shortening of the face has led many Bulldogs to present respiratory problems, even if the standard indicates that this is undesirable. Furthermore, differences between male and female size, together with their light rear body and heavy front, means reproduction is very difficult. Human assistance during both the crossing and birth is usually required. It is strongly recommended that this breed visits the vet every six months to maintain good health or to quickly detect any illness. It will also be essential to follow the vaccination schedule and regularly deworm them internally and externally. If we comply with all their necessary care and if the dog maintains good health, you can enjoy their company between 8 to 10 years. What do you think of this breed? If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments section below or send us any suggestions for future videos. Until next time!